Morning boys and girls, how are we doing? Uh, what are we at? 7.34 on Thursday today, I guess. So, <clears throat> Land Cruiser obviously had a sleepover last night. We finished the uh, rock kit late. But we got it done. So, camera done, rock kit done. Uh, I'm guessing that goes back with him now and... I think eventually it'll go back to Toyota. It's got some more bits and bobs to finish. Um, he's dropping off his other car, which is an E46, I think, today. Uh, aerialception is really bad, so we're going to put a shark fin on the roof. GPS connected. Thanks, love. And uh, I think he said his rear wash wipe isn't working, so we're going to have a look at that. Um, I'm not sure whether it's a saloon or whether it's an estate. Chances are, BMs are common for it. If it's in this state, it will be the tailgate wiring that snaps, and that's why the wash wipers stopped working. But that's today's task. I'm just off to go and get down. We'll go and find some brekkie. Probably a bacon roll and a coffee, and he has orange juice. Doesn't do coffee, bless him, he's not old enough yet. The rest of us know, right? We can't start a day on orange juice, gotta be on coffee. <clears throat> so the rain has ceased for a minute. We have got more more blowy bits, more wet bits coming in. Um, but woken up to a lovely blue sky with scattered clouds this morning. Had the little fire, the log burner going. It's always nice to wake up to um, sort of the smell of freshly burnt wood. And a, you know, a beautiful blue sky day like this. The sun's just coming up. I say just coming up, it's been up a little while, but we don't see it yet. Oh gosh, what a week. It's crazy, really, really busy. Um, I'm trying to focus my mind on booking in more work than I have done normally, obviously, because now there's two of us to deal with it and obviously I've got to pay for him. Um, so yes, trying to retrain my brain into going, no, we're full that day, yes, we can have another job. Uh, I have actually got one already work waiting at work for us that was dropped off late last night. The guy basically messaged me and said, oh, I've got my own unit. Can you fit it? And I know I've got the fascia kit on stock. It's on the shelf. So I just said, yeah, tomorrow. So we'll crack on with that as well today. Uh, that's a transit van having a Kenwood 5020. But I'm gonna get some coffee, get down, go to work, and I'll see you in a bit, everyone. It's on now. <laughs> morning, everyone. Yeah, morning. So we've got a, a big white tranny. Hello! So, uh, customer supplied his own uh, head unit to it, so it's having a Kenwood 5020 put in it. So uh, we're supplying the lead, uh, but customer has brought his own radio in. So we're going to pop this one in in a couple of minutes. Alex is already hard at work and got the radio out. I'm already hard. What? Well, <laughs> well on that note. <laughs> 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 I'm at work. Morning. <laughs> so it was just about to be picked up. We should have a BM to work on. E46. We... <coughs> you said on it? <coughs> yeah, it should be. Um, E46, bad or non existent aerial and rear wiper. Cool. And then. Uh, That's it, I think. Should be a nice easy day. As long as the beamer goes well. Tori, what was that? I said, <laughs> I said hey. Hey, 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 hey. So we got, we got steering controls? Uh, yes. Yeah, it's good. So we've got the right lead for that. Cool. Right, well, we'll give you an update in a little bit then. In a bit, take a tip. Hello, everyone. So. Right, all done. So, microphone's in at the top, in the headliner by the light. DAB, DAB aerial is run down the side there. Pass the bottom of the glove box to the back of the head unit. All in, steering wheel controls will work. USB is in the top box. driver's side top box. But uh, other than that, it's all done. Copy yeah. right, copy right, copy right. Yeah, you got right. the radio from Halfords. From Halfords, was it? Never mind. 
It's like swearing. Yeah, it's like Malice Mallet. You say, how far do you get a punch in the dick? <laughs> I have just been to... Oh! <laughs> <laughs> Can you fit? No. There we go. Yeah, we'll fit everything. Other than Chinese stuff. We will if you sign a disclaimer. La 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 la. <laughs> right, that's it. All done. Sweet. Happy days. And the BMW. And the BMW has just turned up. Man for the Toyota. He's just also brought us his BMW. Let's have a look at his aerial problem. So we'll see you all soon. Right then, guys. Uh, Toyota's just on his way. Customers taking that away. And we've got his next toy in, which is the Beamer. So um, this thing has notorious failures, they all do. The wash wipe is peeing out the bottom of the spoiler here. The aerial doesn't work. That's not the aerial for the radio. That is actually what looks like either a CB aerial or a phone aerial. Um, so we've got a shark fin to put on this one and we've got to take all this down and investigate what is going on with the wash wipe and or boot electrics for the rear wiper as you can see which is paused in not not working fashion so we're going to investigate this next so trims down check the cable here make sure this is not snapped this is a common bmw issue if you own a three series and you have a split tailgate your cables in here they glue themselves over time to the rubber and then the multiple folding rubber snaps the cable inside aerials actually mounted in this thing here so we're going to strip all this down so that's the next one see you in a bit <laughs> what? Nothing. Yeah, don't worry about the copyright or nothing. You what? <laughs> what? <laughs> so BMW's what? <laughs> BMW's in and we've managed to find Oh Saved by the tailgate. Well that was close. Um managed to find lots of broken wires in the join. So um, so you've got a big earth there that's broke. You've also got a brown wire there that's also broke. You've got two wires here, a blue and a red and a white. It also runs to this one here. Um, so that I think is going to be the be all end all of his problem. Well, I say be all end all, but it's going to be his problem there with his white. Can they see that? I was trying to get them out a little bit further. Look, look, there you go. Oh, here. that's better. There you go, look. Now the so, kids can see. Focus. Focus. Let's not focus. But nonetheless, there is the issue. Four wires so far. So far. Four wires to be sorted, fixed. Or is that another one? No, nope, that's attached. So this is the problem people, we've got a blend there as well. The cable gets tight, attaches itself to the sleeve. Stop laughing there. <laughs> Grips the wires and then as it bends, it folds it past its point of equilibrium. There's a word. There's a word, there's a word of the day. Uh, and then it snaps the cable. So we will now rectify all these cables, resolder, reconnect, clean up, and probably then we will do the aerial. Because he's a very nice man. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, we'll give you an update in a bit. See you soon. Well, that's better. There you go. It's working again. Cameras again. And there you go. There you go. So BMW, we've had lots of success. I'm going to try and avoid that as Alex opens that. What? The reg, as you opened it. No, 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 it's fine. We're not, we're not doing anything <coughs> money-wise in this. Oh, okay. So, <clears throat> what we had to do is, as you saw earlier, we had lots of broken wires in this loom here. Alex has managed to get them all soldered back together and get them working again, which means that the split rear window... Now the works. Actual micro switch now works. And so does that's, the key. It does the key as well. Uh, the rear wiper actually does work, the motor works, however the ball at the top of there is seized so solid that it, it turns the motor off, gets to a thermal cut and then just goes, yeah so we're solid. done with that. So, hey? So solid. So solid. 21 seconds. 
Where's the screws? Four. It's this. They were in the boot. Don't you give me work. They were. Oh, I'll give you work. So, these ones here. Out. Yeah. These ones here. Did the. Oh, they were in the boot. No. <laughs> these ones. Are you making. Making do, stuff up? No, these ones do this one here, this one here, this one here, this one here. And then you have to get two of them, which are different screws, and then there. Okay. Are they, are they the ones that were on the top as well, from this? Yes. Yeah, okay. Carry on. Right, go on, as That's you right. Want. So, shark fin to do. Shark fin to put on, so we've got to try and get to that aerial from the... No, we're going to leave that alone. Oh, okay. Yeah. We'll uh, that is internally um, cavitated. Oh, okay. That's in that back section of support. Right. So, yeah. what we're going to do? We're going to put it at the front, towards the front, or not sure yet. Just leave it alone. Just leave it alone. I'm kind of liking the whole ain't broke, don't mess with me kind of. Thing. <laughs> I got that. <laughs> I just... The boot was like, yeah, nah. <laughs> the boot was like, in the face. Before you, before, in the before face. you, before you, okay. In the face. What? I said, before you put that, that what? needs to go back on the back. What is? The fluffy? Yeah. Well, we're going to leave that in. He's going to take this off anyway. Okay. Okay. So. <laughs> I'm lost. In the, uh, what do you mean you're lost? You're not lost. You know exactly where we are. So we've got to put a shark fin in. And then that's about it. Got to do a bit of Fergal Sharky. Bit Get of shark. There. Get the aerial working. But at least we've had lots of winds. Lots of winds in terms of the wiring harness. Yeah. So this all now works after lots of testing and messing around with. But yeah. I'm pleased. And we, and we know what's wrong with his wiper. So we'll fix his aerial, we fix the wiring, we know what's wrong with that, we know what's wrong with this, he just needs to order a bar. We're good to go. Happy days. Win-win. See you soon. Bye. Evening everyone. Right. Just shutting up shop for today, 5.45. Uh, Dan's gone off, he's gone off with his mates, leaving early today. Go and have a beer at his mate's house. Probably play some Xbox, I would have thought. Um, but beam has just gone, it's just been picked up. We didn't end up doing the shark fin, we just repaired all the wiring into the tailgate section where the aerial amplifier is, and everything seems to come back online. He's going to test it and let me know. But that's it for today. Tomorrow we've got T6 point, no, T6 in. It's having a 160 fascia kit and see whatever else turns in. See you then. Bye. Morning, everyone. How are we doing? We have had some biblical rain overnight. <clears throat> Thanks, love. I'm expecting all of this to be flooded out because it's literally been chucking down for hours and it's uh, very, very heavy. Um, we're already flooded, we're already uh, <laughs> saturated with water. <clears throat> so it's not going to help. Um, Today we've got the T6 coming in. We're doing a Pioneer ABH Z uh, 5200, the one with the CD. There's the flood. Uh, and then this afternoon we did have another job in, but it's cancelled. But um, we'll we'll see what we'll, what happens. Uh, it might be an early day today. Oh, it's been a busy week. Uh, having Dan around is definitely helping. Um, we are obviously <clears throat> increasing the workload um, whilst learning. He's, he's, you know, picking stuff up and learning at the same time and earning me money, which is what we need to do, which is great. Uh, there is no real beating around the bush of it. Obviously, he's there to make my life easier or at least earn me money and, you know, have fun in the process. I like working with him. He's a, he's a, good, he's a good lad. Heart of gold and he's, he's doing me proud. He's learning quickly. Uh, going to be a black day today. I think the weather is set to be miserable today. It brightens up tomorrow and then we're back to rain Sunday. Tomorrow night we are going off to Longleat to see the Christmas lights. They do like the, the illumination trail. We're going to see that tomorrow. Um, and we've got a busy day booked tomorrow for work as well. So 
should be good. Should be a good end to the week. I hope you're all good. Hope you're all well. I appreciate the support. We've done um, 48 subscribers this month. So if you've been part of this channel and watching it never supported it and now you are thank you very much if you are still watching it and not supporting it press the damn button it helps give it a like give it a share give it a follow it all goes towards the uh, increased presence that YouTube puts me out there so I appreciate it if you've done it thank you all my regulars morning boys morning girls everyone hope you're well gonna get some breakfast get down get coffee I'll see you in a bit Morning dudes. Morning Dan. Morning. Right, uh, T6 in first thing. So uh, this again has the curse of the Kenwood DNX style radios. Um, VW Fitment, when it came out, awesome idea. Unfortunately now these things are getting old and we've got a shelf full of them up there. Um, so this has failed. Uh, so instead we're going to go fascia kit, Pioneer 5200 with CD player. Um, obviously new uh, new microphone. See what I mean about these roof clips? This is why we cut them down. So this is obviously styled for hooking around the front uh, But it comes with a sticky pad on top But if you cut this down, it then looks better than tits on a fish because It's just so far away from the roof. This looks untidy. So we'll neaten that up USB is going to go in the glove box. So we doesn't have to have Said phone cradle fishing around the dash. So that'll be all nice and neat out of the way um, DAB aerial such and so forth um, doesn't have steering controls on this one, but I'm guessing this is going to be the... Oh, I don't know. It might be the older style quad. It might be the newer style quad. We'll have a look in a minute, but we'll strip it apart first. Toolbox tour coming this afternoon, fellas. You ask for it, you get it. See you soon. Bye. Hello, everyone. So very quickly, I've just shut myself in the van because the customer's just coming to come and collect it. It is all done. So Transporter T6 is all done. As you can see, 5200 all in and sorted and ready to go uh, microphone up the top with a nice woolly hat on just like myself it's getting a bit colder so you've got to keep him warm DAB aerial in the corner just have to replace it the previous one had been fitted by um, somebody else who decided to coil it up it was pretty good but as you can see copyright is gonna ruin the video but there you go all sorted all set up and ready to go and uh, yeah, time to get the next one in, which I believe is a Range Rover or Land Rover Discovery for a window problem. But yeah, we'll give you an update in a bit. Morning guys, right, next one in, we've got a Land Rover, Range Rover commercial. Doesn't have seats, it has a bed in the back and it has all the fixings to carry equipment. Um, what looks like tinted rear windows, but they're not actually windows, they're plastic sheeting. Um, so he uses this for work, but it looks posh when he turns up to big stately homes. But they don't know it's a van. <laughs> but we've got a window regulator fail by the sounds of it. There's um, remnants of WD-40 all over the windscreen, all over the window. Dan's just going to take... Da oh. Hello. Oh, hello. Dan's going to take the door card off. Um, activating the window switches, we can already hear the cables snapping inside. So motor's working, regulator's not windows not moving so this is next the reason why wd-40 didn't fix it is probably because it's trapped with fucking cables awesome <laughs> see you in a bit okay so obviously we managed to get the window stuck up so that it's out of the way and it's not going to fall off so we've taken off the door card to then expose the um, inner door card let's broken say speaker. um and we also, yeah, we did find a broken speaker on the back of this door card. When I was taking it off, I noticed it was cut a little bits of damage. And then this speaker should be very nicely in there, like like so. Um, but has obviously broken away from the tabs. The screws have stayed with it um, and have just pulled away. So we're going to have to try and make a fix for that and let the customer know. Um, so once we've taken the inner door card off, we found the cable is pinched and stretched and pulled out of there. So that is, that cable is supposed to be right down inside that. And obviously that cable is supposed to be connected to the motor inside here, which then obviously tightens and loosens, which obviously brings the window up and down on the regulator. So regulator seems to be okay, but the motor and the cable there need to be looked yeah, the at. The regulator's busted, the motor will be fine. This is the regulator, this is the motor. So it will be this that's done. But by the looks of it, that's one piece. So this will all, this, 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 this needs changing. Ah. So we've got a lock there, one in there, 
down there, down there. So we'll need to find out from Land Rover if they've got stock of this and how much it's gonna be. So the motor still works, unfortunately. But the regulator is toast. So we'll be replacing out this. Hey. Oh, there's another clip. Oh, maybe in the bottom, yeah. So we've got to get this out now, get a price on this part from Land Rover, get it changed. Custer, is that, is that original? Maybe, it's got the stamps on it. But we got nipple tassels. Nipple tassels? Doing their job, I know, a nice little blue point tray. So uh, let's now call Land Rover, get a price on this regulator and then scare the customer with his obscene part price. That's probably 300 quid. At least. <laughs> Out. See oh dear. Bit. See you soon. Hello again, everyone. So, um, we have managed to get the door card and everything else back on the Land Rover. Um, haven't been able to make a fix for the window just yet, but we've worked out, obviously, like I said earlier, it's the regulator that's that's died. And it's, it's tangled up all the cables inside the motor. So it's needing a new regulator, possibly with the motor as well. Uh, depends on as it comes from Land Rover. Now we spoke to Land Rover, they've said they can get one, it's not a problem, but it is going to be a 10 day order, which will be very interesting. Uh, and they said it's a million quid and it's gold plated and it's got to come from the middle of nowhere. So um, <laughs> so we've got that one all sorted and that's on order. So this will come back in once we get the parts. I've managed to get that speaker glued back in place so that's now in the right place and staying where it is. So this one is done for the moment, pending parts to come in. So. We'll get that sorted, get the next one in as soon as we can, do some tidying up. Uh, I think it's about lunchtime, so we'll, uh, we'll go and get some food and then we'll do some more bits. So we'll see you soon. Hello everyone. So we've had a Kia Seed, seed come in uh, for a replacement of door speakers. Now we have just sort of cracked on with it coming back from lunch. So we, that one's already done and Alex is putting the screws back in the door. This one is still apart yet, waiting for me to put the door card back on, but as you can see, New kickers DS. in there, kicker, DS. DS's, um, so they're put in and all sorted and wired in, ready to go, so it's just a case to put the door card back on, get them back out on the road. We have had to sort of modify the cup to be able to put the kickers in, um, which is why we have a, a pile of remnant speaker, but no, all done, so get this one out, and uh, have we got any more for us today? Uh, I don't know, maybe. Oh. We'll see. Are we tidying up? Tidying up and then going from there. So uh, we'll see you in a bit. Hey everybody, right, it's about that time. It's a uh, Midwest re request, so we're going to do another toolbox tour. So here is my rather purple, rather large Epic. Um, and me and Dan have been cleaning it, doing a little, uh, a little number on it today, getting all the drawers and everything else clean so you can see um, <laughs> the, the toolbox tour. It's got a lot of stuff in it. So uh, probably going to need a torch. And we'll go through what we've got. Um, you want to start from the outside or should we start from the inside? Where do you want to go? Let's start from the top. So um, obviously this has two um, 84 inch risers and two overhead lockers. The I need to get some lighting for the top really, but uh, currently we have some various snap-on bits, the blower, the car covers, um, and other bits and bobs, my racing helmet, skateboard, uh, some other stuff stuck in the top. Um, <clears throat> an old retro snap-on jacket, which is rather cool. It was donated from a customer. Um, then we'll move into the hutch. So we've got welding helmet, the snap-on fan with the temperature, uh, some blue point trays, some snap-on hats, both uh, mats, and we've got two more over there. So I've got the set of four, all of the uh, Chrome Nation stuff that they did, the special editions. So we've got uh, the skeletons, um, we've got the sockets, <coughs> I bought four just because it's nice to have. Um, got various cups, various shelf things, 
snap on shot glasses, snap on Rubik's cubes, snap on ice cubes, calendar, the snap on magnetic mat, um, some snap on cups, battery charger, no, battery tester, um, ball scope, snap on football. Uh, so we'll start, we'll go over it. Uh, the gold ratchets, um, a, pl a police ticket, um, the snap on blue point grabber, various cups, um, squishy toys. Uh, that's just been released. The old tire valve, snap on tire valve. Um, boxes, some memorabilia, some limited edition screwdrivers, the Lego car, the Razor, uh, another car. And you'll have to excuse the mess. This is a this is a working toolbox, and yeah, don't get often to clean it. So uh, we'll try what we can. Right, so we'll start with this drawer first. So first in here, I've got um, razor blades, the Irwin uh, hacksaw, the snap-on shears, the windscreen wiper puller tool, um, the hose clamp tool, the uh, diamond tipped tweezers and cleaning terminal tool, uh, window scrapers, dynamat tool, scissors, blue point mirror, snap on blue point pipe cutters, um, and a couple more razor blades and knives. Oh, and a magnetic pickup tool as well. Uh, next draw down, we're gonna go into sockets. Uh, yes, there are some non snap on variety stuff in here, so you'll have to bear with. Some Sealy tools um, for the Allen Keys hex, uh, same as for the snap on Torx hex, uh, Star Keys, uh, the VW tools, mini Allen heads, and mini Torx. Then we've got the power draw. Uh, if you have this as an option, not everyone gets a power draw, but I did opt for it. So we've got uh, the various 14.4 um, chargers. Two of them stay in here all the time, charging the batteries. Um, we've got bit driver, the screwdriver, the 3 8 gun, and then a half inch gun, and three or four torches, which usually stay in here on charge. We go down a drawer. This one is about the only empty one I have. So we've got some rather large um, uh, impact, sockets. impact sockets. Well done, Dan, that's what I was looking for. Um, a tray of merch. So we've got lots of snap-on hats, scarves, overalls, barbecue aprons, uh, some of my ASC masks, um, earbuds, <laughs> yeah. Well, <laughs> winter deer stalker hat, lots of snap-on beanies. Uh, first big draw, we'll go to this one first. We've got, uh, this is mostly my testing equipment. So obviously I do car audio as a, as a job. So we have things like the DMRTA from Audio Control, Steve Mead Designs, CCA, DD1, DD1 Plus. Um, various snap-on tools for making my life a bit easier. The 90 degree drill, uh, the 3 8 extension ratchet, the saw, the straight on drill, the uh, quarter drive 90 degree ratchet, the bit driver 90 degree, a snap-on butane torch or blow torch, one snap-on Apollo D8 scanner, and then some other tools for my audio testing, manuals, DVD drive. Um, we do keep VAGCOM here as well, so as well as a snap-on scope, I do have VAGCOM uh, for the old VWs and uh, Audis, very useful. Next drawer. We've got the screwdrivers and a disc. Pop that back in there. Uh, so, various screwdrivers. We've got the uh, picks, 90 degrees, all sorts of extensions and, and angles. Uh, the mini pick set, the black pick set, the radiator tool and hose tool. Uh, these have just been released. These are the new um, larger, larger than pick set but obviously a bigger screw handle. They've just been released. Um, bits, longs, extensions, and the normals. The terminal kit, smaller screwdriver ends. I use this as a trim tool, very good. Ratchet and screwdriver, really mini Torx uh, handled bit drivers. Uh, no, terminal tools. The pick set for um, the terminals and obviously wire picking. Uh, a screwdriver pouch, which consists of Little picks, Phillips, flathead, um, the normal Torx 
uh, and some angled picks and a straight on pick. Uh, the blue point terminal tool for uh, unpicking electronic plugs. Um, the Allen, uh, Allen, key. Uh, Allen key, yeah, they're kind of 90, 90 degree or wobbly headed. Um, the screwdrivers, so Phillips and flat heads, and then the really large Phillips and flat head. Uh, some more bit drivers and some bit driver extensions. Uh, the long extension tools, set of four, and the very, very flat head uh, style, no space screwdrivers, two of those. Um, that's that one. Next drawer. We'll do some beauty shots at the end so you get to see all of this, but I'm just kind of running through stuff. Uh, snap on knife and fork and spoon. We've got the extension Allen keys, the extension ball ends, the big kind of stubbier, the, the bigger sized Allen heads, the extension uh, Torx, um, spanners, um, Swan necks. Swan necks, yeah, he's exactly. <laughs> getting there. Uh, crow feet, half inch and the quarters, the extension flank drives, the FDX, no, not, not FDX, but they are the flanks. Um, the extension, round tips, star keys, the socket spanners, the moon spanners, the uh, stubby eight, no, 12 sided, no, double six, whatever they're called, the 12 sided sockets, and the um, star spanners. Extensions in three eighth with a lock and a wobbly. Uh, the extensions in quarters with a lock and a wobbly. The foam ratchet set with the um, really long Obviously four different styles and the, the lower two, top two, they're all um, rotating. So you've got removable heads on them. The snap-on spark plug kit with extension ratchet and wobbly sockets of all lengths and descriptions. The extension kit for the three eighths and the converters from um, three eighth to half, half to three eighth, quarter, um, and the, the extensions in the foam. I'll go middle drawer. This is the bits and bobs drawer. So this could be specs when I ordered my box. Um, and, it, and it gives you, you can remove these sort of sorting trays around so you can have different lengths, but I like to keep switches and relays and plugs and uh, double-sided in here, some soldering iron tips and just general bits and bobs that I know I don't want to lose. They all go in here. This is the messy drawer, but it's the really important drawer. We've all got one of those. <clears throat> then we've got trim tools. Long files, short files, my break-in kits, I've got two of them, the blue point one and the, the wedge bag. The electrical drawer. So this is uh, the EV stuff, the special kit that Snap-on had. Um, it does get used, uh, but it's still kept very, very clean because if you know the price of these, they're quite frightening. Uh, bottom drawer, my large rivnut gun and a puller, a bearing puller uh, and some extension rivnuts. The blue point heavy duty rivnut set. Worth its weight in gold, that one. Um, so, in here, we've got some blue point pliers and cutters. We've got the check strap blue point tool. We've got the nipple tassels, which we use today. Uh, the new snap on uh, pipe uh, pliers. Tin snips, pliers, extensions, um, needle nose, uh, flush cuts, long long reach, you know, all of the, the 90 degree needle nose, all of the pliers in there. We're still waiting on a set of these being exchanged because they're slack, although they're obviously Snap-on's latest and greatest. Um, the plastic cable tie cutting tool, plastic only, and we've got the um, wire stripper with the adjustable ends. This is a new piece that we've picked up recently. Into the bottom one, this is a bit of an odds and sods. Um, we've got we've got heli coils, uh, saws, tape. Yeah, just just a, a wasted drawer kind of thing. Soon to be changed, I guess. Um, another odds and sods drawer. This keeps hats, um, stickers, batteries, uh, all of the you know the goodies that some manufacturers send me, and I do dish them out to customers occasionally. When they spend a lot of money, they will get given gifts like you know stickers and lanyards and things like that. We've got. Quite a few kicker ones in here and stuff. Next draw down. Vice grips, Irwins, um, the full set from the welding clamps to needle 
pinch, you know, the little ones to the big ones. Uh, hose clamps, hose pullers. We've got the uh, emergency removal tools, all the extractors, some trim tools, trim spreaders, uh, the blue point set and the kneeling bars from Snap-on. Uh, kind of another testing drawer, the new multimeter that we bought and the old one. We've got various coast torches, um, my diesel injector tester, um, my Zamo, my rangefinder, my Snap-on thermal scope, um, some more meter bits, crocodile climps, power probe, um, all the bits and bobs for the torches and a vernier gauge. Removal, this is like the oh shit drawer really. This is like the I'm in trouble and I need a little bit of help. We've got the brake making stuff for pipe bending, crimping, um, and the special CV joint pliers. Uh, I'm not entirely sure what's in this one. Let's have a little look. It's thrown me. Oh, it's a pipe. Pipe making tool for your brake pipes. And the cutter is somewhere lurking under there. Terminal tools for some stereo, not stereo, sorry, wiring harness plugs. A fluid sucker. Um, that's a uh, ratcheting set of uh, removals, stutter removals. And then we've got the, the drill outs from Snap-on and the quarter drive uh, kind of uh, <laughs> nut removers. They don't get used that often. That's when you know things have gone wrong. Um, another big drawer, which is fairly empty at the minute because all the stuff's out. So we've got heat guns, jigsaws, uh, the glue gun sits in here, usually the angle grinder, some other bits and bobs. Ah, come on to the biggest. The socket drawer. Um, gosh, various stuff in here. So extensions, three eighth, half, quarter. We've got deeps, shallows, intermediates, wobbly ends, metric imperial uh sump plug tools we've got uh the snap-on um extender for the ratcheting gun uh torque wrenches quarter half three eighth we've got allens mini allens mini torques big torques star keys uh the shallow stuff the extension stuff um extension rods um Special alloy tools for the BBS wheels on the Lotus, the Oz wheels. Um, 3 8 half inch extensions. We've got the little ratcheting tools for the bit drivers. Uh, little, little ratchet set. Um, various ratchet drivers, 3 8 drivers. Intermediates, small, wobbly heads. Um, the threading tool for a ratcheting end this was a recommendation actually from you guys to be able to hold my um thread um tap and die set accurately so i bought some of them well done uh fdx sockets um the 12 sided stars 12 pointers what a busy draw going on there i say we'll do some shots at the end i'll do some beauty shots of this so we're just running through it for now um ball end allen keys uh the phillips set the extended torque set the shallow uh, the short torque set trim tools the through and through tool t keys in allen t keys in torques and t keys in uh metric no imperial another spanner drawer so we've got every size from 36 down to i think it's six five four <laughs> so from from this big to that big dinner plate to mini mini me um extension sockets uh, sorry extension spanners the thin spanners the um goosenecks whatever you call them the degree spanners shallows no i keep saying that shorts intermediates and long uh ratcheting shorts ratcheting long <clears throat> middle drawer so we've got some purple pliers some purple cutters the snap-on purple set obviously to go with a purple monster um, we've got the circlip pliers circlip um, more circlip pliers and then panel beating kit hammers slide puller um, dolly we've got the pry bars we've got the scrapers we've got the brake 
WAG tool. Um, we've got the uh, punches, the chisels, all three sets. Kind of like an odds and sods draw. Kneeling bars, uh, pipe stoppers, brake pipe stoppers, spring clamps, uh, pipe pliers, brake wind back tool, another brake wind back tool, um, some uh, wire brushes, the whizzy wheel and the hub cleaner, and some uh, pullers. A bore tool, a rivet gun, two rivet guns, a sanding block, some rivets and a hacksaw and a snap-on special edition tin into the last stuff now crimping tools so I do use obviously a menage of uh, tools which are going into share uh, to crimping that's right Dan I'll put that there thanks mate <coughs> crimping tools so various different um, adapters to go in um, different kinds different connectors and we've got hammers the through and two, through tools, the flexi through and through tools. Um, we've got soft ended hammers, hard ball ended hammers. Uh, I use one for interior, one for dirty, so we keep one clean. Um, a Stilson set, that's the steering wheel hub from the Lotus, not sure why that's in there. Uh, snap on Monopoly, we've got the fluid tester, um, the uh, plastic welding tool, um, pressure kit, bleeding kit. Um, the radiator leak down test and a snap on chopping board. So there we go. That's pretty much my up to date tool toolbox tour. Uh, I'll get some beauty shots on board, put some music with it, and enjoy the chromeness. See you in a bit. Dan's just come up with a funny question. So I saw this on a on a video a while back of somebody else giving a, tour, a toolbox tour. Yeah. And the question was, you know, they asked loads of questions, but the question that I found interesting was, what was your most expensive but least used tool? Oh gosh, that's an easy one. Electric kit. Electric kit. Electric kit. It's not often that we get to work on electric cars. And honestly, that's the most unused, most expensive tool I've ever bought. So that tray, if I remember correctly, was about three thousand pounds. It was about yeah two eight two thousand eight hundred quid plus the VAT. So it was quite a lot of money. Okay, and so then to go the opposite way, what is your cheapest but most used? Uh, it's got to be my saw. Is it? Yeah. <laughs> I, I you make up excuses to use that on everything. <laughs> I, I use this thing every single day, whether it's dash chopping or the like speaker like molding. You know, if I'm moving a speaker. Or or is a plastic piece in the way when I'm cutting a dash. Or cutting, or cutting door latches or, open or, like we did on yeah, the Yeah, yeah, pretty much. I think I think my, my favourite tool is the saw because it just cuts through everything like butter. Um, it's probably the one I most use more than anything. If there's any questions or anything else you want to ask, um, obviously this is half of my snap-on stuff. We have got the dealer ratchet. We have got the snap-on rocket. We have got some one-off bags. We have got the Coke Cola can coca-cola uh, ice bag up there we've got the dragster bag we also have the snap-on display tools that are up here 
and around the shop we've got the full-on battery charger uh, engine cranes we've welder. got the jack we've got the snap-on welder the press uh, yeah there's an awful lot in here that you probably don't see day-to-day -day use of but yeah there is other snap-on stuff in here that oh the table the seating upstairs the lilo the foosball table that's all snap-on too but yeah there's a there's a there's a lot of stuff in here the little van. yeah oh yeah the creep the creepers really. and the seats yeah there's there's a lot of stuff in here and the bags the tool bags um but yeah so that's it so that's the 2023 catch-up courtesy of mr midwest tools thank you sir for the suggestion and there we go there's my tour for probably some new bits and bobs that you've not seen before enjoy see you soon fellas bye